incoming message. The words I am are two of the most powerful words we can ever use. Why? Because whatever follows them is what we are inviting into our life. It's like we are sending a signal to the universe or even to our own subconscious mind declaring who we are and what we are about. And whether we realize it or not, we will start to attract the essence of those words. Think about it. If we are constantly saying things like, I am tired, I am broke, or I am unlucky, what are we doing? We are reinforcing those realities. The more we repeat them, the more our minds begin to believe that that is who we are. And once our mind believes it, our actions and experiences begin to align with those statements. It's not magic, it's psychology. Words shape our self-concept and dictate our behavior. Now, the flip side is also true. When we say, I am confident, I am capable, or I am deserving of success, we begin to embody those qualities. It's like we're setting a new standard for ourselves and our minds begin to search for ways to align with those declarations. Listen, we've spoken about this before. Words have vibrational energy. Whether you believe in the science of it or simply the power of positive thinking, there is no denying that words can change our internal state. When we speak positive affirmations about ourselves, we're creating a mental and emotional shift that changes how we show up in the world. We are setting the stage for new possibilities. Let me give you an example. Someone might wake up and say, I am overwhelmed. Well, what do you think their day is going to look like? It's probably going to be stressful and chaotic. But if instead they say, I am in control of my day, suddenly their mindset begins to shift. They start to approach the day with more clarity and confidence. Even if things go wrong, they are more likely to handle it calmly because they've already set that intention that they are in control. The power of I am is not just about repeating words like a mantra. It's about truly believing and owning what follows those words. It's a declaration of identity, a decision about how we see ourselves and how we want the world to see us. And when we begin using those words consciously, we are no longer letting life happen to us. We are taking charge and crafting the life we want. So today, I invite you to ask yourself, what are you saying after I am? Are you reinforcing limitations or are you opening yourself up to potential and growth? Begin today by being mindful of your words. And every time you catch yourself saying something negative, flip it. Replace, I am struggling with, I am learning. Replace, I am not enough with, I am more than enough. Words are seeds. Whatever we plant with, I am, it's going to grow. So plant wisely, speak consciously, and watch as your life begins to shift in the direction of your words. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.